starting from the bottom. No. to another video. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be sharing with you all my mystery or blind bag keychain collection. So if you have been following my channel for a while, if you've been keeping up with my vlogs and some of my um, unboxings of these mystery keychains, you know that I am a huge fan of mystery keychains, whether they be Disney, horror movie related, like I just absolutely love them. They're just so much fun to buy and unbox. And over the years, I definitely have developed a little collection. Now, all of the ones that I have purchased, I actually don't have all of them here today um, because, you know, one of the things that you risk with buying blind bag keychains is you do get repeats. So I definitely have gotten a few repeats <laughs> over the years and any repeats that I did get, I either gave to my sister or I just simply got rid of. And yeah, so one of my most recent videos of unboxing some of my mystery keychains, I will link that down in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. Um, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do like a dedicated keychain collection and I got a few comments and messages of you guys being totally for that. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you would like to see my keychain collection from all of my mystery and blind bag purchases, then just keep on watching. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna start with all of my Disney related keychains. I think that's what makes up a majority of my collection. Um, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and start with our OG Disney characters or Disney princesses. Now, since I have collected all of these keychains over many years time, I don't exactly remember the specific like collection or series each of these are from so I do apologize about that but you should be able to find them with just like a quick google search anyway so the first one in my collection is this one right here and this is Aurora from Sleeping Beauty definitely one of my top favorite Disney princesses. So I'm super excited to have her in my collection. And I'll definitely make sure to do like close-ups of each of the keychains so you guys can get a better look at what they look like. Disney princess I have in my collection is this one right here and this is of course Belle and the last OG Disney princess that I have in my collection is this one right here and this is of course Jasmine from Aladdin and honestly this is definitely one of my favorite keychains in my collection just because I just love Jasmine and the movie Aladdin like Jasmine is just gorgeous and I don't know why but I feel like when you go to the store or look online for anything like Disney princess related I feel like you very rarely can find like Jasmine related stuff. And so yeah, the fact that I have her in my collection, I just, I just love it. All right, I have a couple more Disney princesses in my collection, but I don't really consider them OG. We're a little bit more on the newer or modern side. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to that. So the first one I'm going to show you guys is this one right here. And this is Rapunzel from the movie Tangled. Definitely one of my favorite modern Disney movies. In my opinion, you can fight me on it, but Tangled is so much better than Frozen. And I love that she's holding like a frying pan like that. I just love this keychain. It's so cute. modernized Disney princess in my collection is of course Elsa from Frozen and I do have this one kind of in a little set 
in its own. I also do have Olaf as well from Frozen, so I keep these two together. And like I said, I definitely prefer Tangled over Frozen. Like I just, I don't know what it is. I have watched Frozen a few different times and I just, I can't get into it. Like I just can't. It's definitely not one of my favorites. Definitely not a Disney movie that I reach for. I mean, I don't even own it, but I keep Elsa and Olaf in my collection because they are still Disney. from the movie Alice in Wonderland. Unfortunately, I don't have Alice herself, but I got a few different other characters. The first one in my little Alice in Wonderland collection is the Mad Hatter. Another one of my favorite keychains in my collection, mainly just because of like the colors of like his outfit, his hat. Another one of my favorites in my collection is Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And I'm pretty sure from this particular series that I bought from, they did have two different um, keychains that you could get of Tweedledee and Tweedledum. But I do like this one because if you turn them over, it is kind of like a different character. It does have, he does have a little bit of a different face on this side. Um, you guys will be able to see it a lot better once I do close-ups of these keychains. So um, even though I only have one of them, it is kind of like you are getting both Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And the last Alice in Wonderland character that I have is little Dinah, which is Alice's cat. with the theme of animals. I do have a few keychains of just pets or animals from Disney movies and I'm pretty sure this was in a series all its own and I'm pretty sure it was titled something along the lines of Disney pets. So first things first in this little collection that I have is this little kitty cat right here and this is Lucifer the cat from Cinderella which I love. Cinderella is definitely one of my top favorite Disney movies. this little black terrier and this is Jock from Lady and the Tramp and this is another one of my favorite keychains because he is just so stinking cute. Next we have this little hound dog and this is the dog Copper from Fox and the Hound which is another one of my favorite like feel good movies. And last but not least the last Disney pet that I have in my little collection of Disney pets is this one right here and this is a little poodle. Her name is Georgia and she is from the movie Oliver and Company. I feel like it's such like a underground movie that like no one talks about but it's like literally one of the best movies out there.
All right, my next little collection that I have to show you guys are just kind of like my random Disney keychains that don't really belong in any of my other little groupings that I made up. <laughs> so first I'm gonna show you two that are actually duplicates, but I decided to keep both of them because they're just kind of like an OG character and I just thought they were really cute. And those are these right here. And as you can see, it is just little Minnie Mouse. I don't exactly remember which like Disney series these are from, but I do remember I bought these in Florida when me and Luke went to Disney World. Um, there was like a little, a few different like little um, souvenir shops across the street from our hotel. So we decided to go, um, you know, check out those shops one day and they had a bunch of Disney blind bag keychains. So I definitely bought a few of them. Um, I know my OG princesses that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video, I got those from Florida as well. And yeah, I bought these. I bought them hoping to get Minnie and Mickey. I was kind of going off of feeling um, the outside of the bag for like their ears and I definitely felt the ears on both of them But unfortunately I got two minis instead of a Minnie and Mickey, but she is so adorable um, So I decided to keep both of them Next one I have to show you guys is Pooh from Winnie the Pooh and this particular keychain like literally makes me crack up because out of all of the keychains that I have in my collection, this guy right here takes the gold medal for the most repeats out there. Um, this particular um, blind bag series, it was one of the series that I probably bought the most out of all the different series and hoping to get all of the characters that came in that particular series. And from all of the different blind bags that I bought from that series, literally I probably got like six different Winnie the Poohs. <laughs> like ridiculous. So I only have one of them. I gave one of, one of them to my sister because I got so many of them. I ended up just getting rid of most of them, but yeah, so this guy, every time I look at him, I just crack up. All right, my next little collection in my collection are all of my Disney villains and I am definitely a Disney princesses girl. I love the Disney princesses, but I feel like I love Disney villains just as much. So I'm very proud of my little Disney villains collection that I have. The first things first, I'm going to start with some of my OG Disney villains. And this is another, I guess you could say set. They're not necessarily a repeat, but it is the same character. So I'll just go ahead and show you both of those right now. We have the Evil Queen, of course, from Snow White. Obviously they are totally different looking. They are not repeats, but they are both the Evil Queen. This is the Evil Queen when she um, makes up like her little potion to um, disguise herself, to go out into like the forest to find Snow White, give her the apple, which puts her in that like deep sleep. So, and then of course, this is the Evil Queen herself, which I am obsessed with. Definitely one of my top favorite Disney villains out there. Disney villain that I have in my collection is this one right here, which this is of course the one and only Cruella DeVille from 101 Dalmatians. This is another one of my top favorite keychains in my collection, just because of just the way she looks. Like she's just fabulous. And again, she's like another one of my top favorite Disney villains. Disney 
villain that I have in my collection is this one right here. Another one of my favorites. And I feel like we're like not even halfway done yet. And I feel like I've already pointed out like so many favorites. Like I just love my keychain collection. That's it. <laughs> this is of course Jafar from Aladdin. have in my collection is this one right here which I feel like would be a little bit hard to point out if you're not like too familiar with Disney villains but that's kind of why I like him I like having some of those like unique not main character pieces in my collection and this is definitely one of them and this is the snake I think his name is Ka from the Jungle Book Disney villains are from movies that I'm not like a huge fan of um, but I decided just to keep them just because I mean I bought them I spent money on them um, so I just keep them in my collection anyways um, but yeah they are these two right here we'll just start with this little lady first and this is I think her name is Madam Mim um, I think she's one of the characters from uh, The Sword in the Stone. I remember watching that movie and like being obsessed with it for like five minutes when I was a child. But yeah, that was when I was like really young and I have not seen it in years. So when I first unboxed her, um, I had no idea who she was. I definitely had to do some digging. the last Disney villain that I have in my little Disney villain collection is this guy right here. He is the villain from Princess and the Frog and I cannot say his name. It's Dr. Start to then F. It's like Facilier? Facilier? I don't think I'm saying it right at all. Um, but yeah, this is another movie that I'm just not a fan of. I wouldn't go as far to say as I hate it because I don't think I've even watched it all the way through. I've tried to watch Princess and the Frog a few times and like it's just one of those movies that I just can't get into. Kind of similar to Frozen even though I have sat and watched Frozen all the way through. Um, yeah I just I don't know what it is. I always end up like whenever I put Princess and the Frog on I either fall asleep or I end up just turning it off. I have not been able to like watch it all the way through. It just, I don't know what it is. I just can't get into it. But I decided just to keep him in my collection just because I like his little outfit. Like he's pretty cool looking, like looks like one of those like voodoo witch doctors. Right, now for the rest of my keychains, we're gonna get started into more of like the horror movies and just some like other movies in general that aren't really considered Disney. Um, so yeah, the next movie I'm gonna move on to, I think is Disney. Well, actually, I don't know. I feel like a majority of people would say this is a Disney movie, but I don't think it is. I think it was produced or made by a different company. I don't really know. But that movie is A Nightmare Before Christmas. Definitely one of my favorites. One of those OG movies that I feel like everyone in my generation or age range has grown up with over the years. So first things first, I'm going to show you the little set that I have that is definitely one of my favorite sets in my collection. And that is Jack and Sally. Like I'm so happy that I have both of them. Sally is definitely another one of my favorites of my collection. Like she just looks absolutely adorable. character that I have from A Nightmare Before Christmas is this little guy. This is one of the little children. Um, I think his name is Locke or Shock. I think this is Locke. 
But yeah, he's like one of the little children that kind of helps um, kidnap Santa Claus. I'm gonna move on to we're kind of getting away from Disney here and that is Beetlejuice now I only have two keychains from Beetlejuice but again these are a couple more of my favorites in my collection so first things first I'll go ahead and show Beetlejuice himself so this particular series that I bought from I think they had a few different um, Beetlejuices that you could get and this is obviously the one that I ended up getting and definitely one of my favorites absolutely love it And then the next and last keychain that I have from Beetlejuice is Barbara. And this is kind of like a more unique one of Barbara. Um, this is when her and her husband are like showing, I don't even know what she was, like their, that like old lady, I don't know what like they called her, but like she was like helping them to be able to get like their house back or something. I don't know what she was called, but, but this is in the part of the movie where they were like showing her like, can you be scary? And like, this is like the trick or face that Barbara does. <laughs> All right, and the next movie I'm gonna move on to is Hocus Pocus. Oh my gosh, I love my little Hocus Pocus keychain collection that I have. Definitely one of my favorite movies, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. So of course, I have to show you one of Anderson's sisters, and that is Winifred herself. Oh my god, she is so adorable. I really wish I had the other two. Like, that was my goal when buying these, um, Hocus Pocus collection, but unfortunately I only got her, but honestly, if I am gonna get any of the Sanderson sisters, I wanted it to be Winifred, and that's who I got. character that I got is the little zombie by the name of Billy. Another one of my favorites and honestly one of my favorite characters from Hocus Pocus itself so I was super happy to be able to have him in my collection. again are not repeats but they are of the same character and that is these two right here so we have Thackeray Banks um, obviously him as a human and then I have Banks the cat um, which Thackeray is cursed to being a cat by the Sanderson sisters <laughs> Hocus Pocus character that I have is this one right here and this is of course Danny the little girl in the movie. Alrighty so we are on our last little collection in our overall keychain collection and this one is going to be our horror movie keychains which some of these again i'm gonna say it again <laughs> are some of my favorite keychains in my collection so let's just go ahead and jump right on into it definitely my favorite horror movie keychain is this one right here and this is reagan from the exorcist one of my favorite scary movies, but also the one scary movie that I have a very hard time watching because it scares the literal shit out of me. This is the one movie that has consistently terrified me, given me night tears for a majority of my life. <laughs> horror 
movie character keychain that I have in my collection is this one right here. This is one of the twins from the movie The Shining. I was really hoping to get um, two of these, even if they were repeats, because obviously they're twins, there's two of them, but unfortunately I only have the one of them. that I have is Pennywise the clown from the movie it I have two different Pennywise um, keychains but they are different they are these two right here so this first one is just kind of like Pennywise on his own nothing like too special and then I also have this one which is a little bit different obviously they're wearing the same clown outfit his hair is pretty similar but he does have a different face and then this is the particular one um, that he has Georgie's arm keychain character that I have in my collection is again of the same character but they are totally different and that is Jason right here obviously from the movies Friday the 13th so this is the first one that I got in my collection and this is just a large face of Jason right there and then I also have this one this is actually one of the newer keychains that I got which if you would have saw my most recent keychain unboxing this was one of the keychains that I got in that particular collection this was one of the exclusive exclusive keychains that I like to call mystery mystery keychains and a lot of these series that I bought from they usually include like two different exclusive keychains that even on the packaging they will kind of blur out so you don't even know what you're gonna get um so that was one of these keychains and just kind of all like silvered out which in that video I originally said like I actually don't like how they made him this color I would have just preferred Jason and like his regular outfit um, but actually my husband pointed out to me that Jason is this color for a particular reason from one of the Jason movies I don't think it's from like Friday the 13th but I think it's like from one of like the Freddy versus Jason movies or one of those um, I've never seen it so yeah, I didn't like the look of it, but I guess it is from a particular movie and that's why he is the color that he is. <laughs> collection is another newer um, collection or keychain in my collection and it is also an exclusive keychain and that is this one right here and this is of course Freddy from Nightmare on Elm Street definitely another one of my favorites he is just absolutely adorable least the last horror movie keychain and overall keychain in my collection is this one right here and this is the nun from the second conjuring movie and then they also made the nun movie i love the conjuring movies definitely one of my favorite horror movie franchises um but i was not a fan of the movie the nun i watched it a couple times the first time i ended up falling asleep so I wanted to give it a second chance and watch it again. I watched it the second time all the way through and I don't know, I just found it very boring and just not very scary. Which I was very disappointed in because this is one of like the horror movie characters that terrifies me. Like when I saw it in the second Conjuring, I was terrified. Everyone, 
and that is it for my mystery or blind bag keychain collection. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Like I said, I absolutely love getting these mystery keychains. They're so much fun to unbox. Um, and I was recently looking online of some other Disney and other um, TV show movie line bag series that I am really interested in getting. So if you enjoy it when I like get new keychains and unbox them for you guys, definitely give this video a thumbs up. I'll definitely make sure to buy some of those keychains um, and do some more mystery keychain unboxings for you guys. So yeah, again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, I wanna welcome you and please, please, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. If you enjoy videos like this, I also do vlogs, shopping hauls, makeup related videos. So definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna get going for now, but I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone!